Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to post a quick correction about something I've been talking about um, and the best way to do that for viewers of my videos is to do it in video format. So you might have heard me talking about how usually on DPS units you should not use a shield because it cuts your weapon in peril in half. Um, most of the time that is an accurate statement and for most units that is a good motto to go by. For physical units, if you're using a shield, that means you're not using double hand, you're not getting variants, uh, and it does cut your weapon in peril in half. That is absolutely true. For mages, same problem. If they can use a shield and like you know, true true double hand with a shield, um, you're cutting your rod in peril in half, and there's no really good magical shields that make it worth doing that. As it turns out, after doing the math, doing some in-game testing myself and talking to some people. Um, for spirit damage dealers, because spirit adds such an enorm or shields add such an enormous amount of spirit to a double hand shield spirit user, it is still worth it to use a shield, even though it cuts your it does cut your weapon in peril in half. But the gain from the, the gain of spirit from a shield is so high that it actually slightly edges out the, the damage loss from the staff in peril. Um, it's pretty close, but you know, using a shield is going to usually be better. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here is Chow with a shield equipped. Notice, you know, mine's only EX2, but he's got 7,500 spirit. At EX3, he'd have like 8,200, but um, that's going to happen on Tuesday. But yeah, so 7,500 spirit. Now we take the shield off. See how far his spirit drops? It drops by... Well, actually, he was getting a tiny... He was getting a little bit of percent spirit from that shield, so it was actually slightly... He wouldn't drop that much. But um, he's losing about a 1,000 spirit by taking the shield off. Now, he will be getting full staff in peril in this build. He would be getting 25% bonus damage from using his own LB staff in peril. Um, but he lost a huge amount of spirit because of that. Now, we put the shield back on... Um, we gained like a thousand or eleven hundred spirit, um, but now our weapon in peril is cut in half. That being said, twelve and a half percent damage loss from losing half of the weapon in peril. It is still going to be more overall total damage by gaining eleven hundred extra spirit from a shield. Now this does, of course, depend on your gears and your STMRs. If you're only using like a low end shield or something and you're not getting as much spirit. You'd have to do the math and double check for yourself depending on the breaking point. I don't know what the break point is. You know, the, the lower your spirit, the, the, the lower the spirit on the shield, at some point the staff in peril, half of the staff in peril gain will be better. But if you have a really good shield, for example, the best shield in the game for spirit, Honor of Grand Shell, 218 flat spirit, that's gonna give you more damage than using a staff on your unit. I'm sorry, than using just a staff with no no offhand to get the full in peril. So, you know, I've been telling people most of the time shields aren't worth using, which is true for almost every unit in the game. Chow is, I think, the first unit where using a shield is just strictly, strictly better, um, even with the loss of the weapon in peril. All right, so now to take, have some fun with our shielded Chow, we're going to go to my favorite testing grounds, which is the hard mode Ashura trial. And Chow is going to take it all by himself. Well, with the party's help. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to hard mode Ashura. And this shouldn't be too long. This should be pretty quick. Um, scorn, of, scorn of Ashura Blades of Affinity. We're going to go to hard mode. Uh, we're not worried about missions. This is just to show off Chow. We're not going to take a friend because we don't need it. So let's go ahead and take a mostly naked team and Chow to quote unquote the hardest trial in the game at the current time. Okay, so we're not going to bother with a tank and all that because we've got Ling. So we're going to go ahead and entrust Ling and use her shifted LB for a 5 stack Mirage. We're going to use Aerith for a Holy Amplify, etc. Um, now Chow does have his own Amplify, but he's got to attack the boss to do it. And I don't want to deal with the counterattacks and the dispels, so we'll just use Aerith. And we're going to use Bestowment of Courage, that's a modifier boost for Chow's LB. And what we'll is Guard Louise on turn 1? We don't really need anything from her. So we didn't break the boss or anything like that. We don't need a tank, you know, whatever. We've got Ling, lots and lots of Mirage. That's awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and push this first uh, this first phase with Chow. 
So we'll use Shira to give Chao the LB back. We'll use Ling to do a, um, a human killer and an undead killer buff for next phase. We'll use Louise to break the boss, give us fire absorb. We're going to do a killer buff. That's the wrong skill. So we're going to break, oh my god. We're going to break the boss, fire absorb. We're going to do a killer buff and we'll just do a minor, you know, uh, whatever. Aerith is going to shift and tag chain for our Chow. And she's naked, she's not really contributing damage here. And Chow will do the shifted LB, which applies in peril, staff in peril, um, and then, you know, uh, a lot of damage, relatively. So we're gonna go ahead and use Chow to take out phase one of Ashura. Nicely done. Here comes the return. So we still got leftover mirages from turn one, and we're also absorbing the fire attack thanks to Louise. Okay. So here is phase two Ashura, the harder phase, you know, so to speak. Uh, so we're going to just use Shira to entrust over to Chow to get his LB back. I'm going to go ahead and shift um, Louise and we can just use uh, a break or we could break with Ling in the base form. Either one works fine, just, you know, a break. And we'll go ahead and just use Chow again. So once again, we just take out the Ashura, not a problem, with, you know, Chow the Wizard. How much damage did we deal anyway? Oh, we didn't even overkill by that much. Look at that. That was actually pretty close. That was that was right on the nose. I should have used the bigger break in the base form with Louise. I mean with uh with Ling. Uh on phase two I used Chow's um or used Shira's uh low break. Or Louise's low break. Anyway, um yeah, I just wanted to show off Chow real quick and really put that correction out there for people that watch my videos that um, usually a shield is better on Chow. You know, I'm not perfect. I don't always get it right. But when I do get it wrong, I, I, I do want to correct myself. So there is the correction about Chow. So in the future, anytime you see me using Chow as a DPS, he is going to now have always have a shield in his offhand. For my builds, at least. Anyway, see you next time.